This is gonna be like, I guess one of those episodes where we should like title this shit like uh, free forum, open forum. Oh, open. Oh, ooh. Exactly How do I know you? Open, open forum. forum. All right, Let's do bring it. it to the fucking stage. To the masses, yes. yeah. And with like the first thing, uh, I actually heard about this today. Someone told me that the GOP uh, proposed a bill to uh, anyone that's got an abortion to give them the death penalty. Thoughts? Uh, valid. Yeah. Let's nice move push. on. <laughs> I mean, you kill your baby, we kill you. I mean, it all makes sense in the end. Cause one, like one minus one, zero. <laughs> one fish, two fish. <laughs> Red, Red fish, fish blue, blue fish. fish. Uh, um, That's what that book's about. That book's about abortion. Yeah, pretty much. Holy crap! Knick knack, paddy whack. Um, <laughs> no, but that is wild. Uh, I don't. Ew. I just I don't get people that that want to control other people's bodies. Like, how does that affect you at all? How does how, does it really hurt? Does it hurt your soul or something? Like, you can't live with it? How good is your life that that's a problem for you? I never liked the uh, the abortion topic because it really is, like, a slippery slope to, like, a lot of people from both sides or whatever because, obviously, you have the uh, um, really conservative religious people that believe, you know, it's a life is a life, and you can't... Uh, you choosing not to accept a life or you taking a life from someone that doesn't have a choice in the, in the matter of it is, is murder. And then, which is... There's some, I guess, points that make sense to that. And then there's the other side where it's like... You, that what you just said. It's it's a woman's body. You know, you, why would you tell her... Like, I don't feel comfortable telling a woman, like, oh, hey, what, what are you doing? Are you trying to get rid of that? How dare you? No. No, no yeah, you're, you're going to keep that. You're going to keep that. And it's it's... It's slippery just because I don't think people think about the like uh, the consequences of both after. So like the aftermath of both situations. So it's like for the people who are um, pro-choice or whatever, I think they just think like, hey, um, you know, uh, this is someone who doesn't want their child. And, you know, they want to get rid of it in the most, I guess, humane way possible like, would that be the most humane way uh yeah because they would think like it's it's uh well like reasons uh, i can't raise this oh, baby man. i don't have enough i don't have enough money to raise we're already on the list someone's like it's not humane <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean it is because like uh what is it i think after the after the first trimester then technically it, like it has like a like a heartbeat it has nails whatever at that point like i'm i'm even a little iffy on it Okay. Like, but if it's like first trimester and and below, like that thing's just a blob, man. It's just a whole bunch of cells, like forming into something, but it, it's not there yet. My whole thing about it is honestly, it's just because I feel like when you decide to make that choice, I don't know who's like I. I don't know if the people who are pro-choice are deciding to make that choice based off of both parties involved. Now, don't, when I say both parties, I don't mean, like, the mother and father. I mean, like, uh, child and mother. You know, I don't think they make it with both parties, like, thinking about both parties. I think and this is going to be kind of wild, so uh, people, please don't, you know, but you are, so whatever. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like, please don't hit me, but you are, so it's okay. Because uh, I know you love me. It's uh, fine. It's fine. Um, there is a part of me that feels like, which I've always felt like this about abortion, there is a part of me that feels like there is a little bit of selfishness involved in a lot of abortions. By that, I mean, I don't think it's something where it's like what you just outlined, where it's like, it makes perfect sense. You know, I can't take care of this baby. I'm not qualified or equipped. No one's going to help me. I don't have the resources. I don't need to have this baby because if I have this baby, it's going to be in worse shape than if I didn't have this baby. Like, that, of course, is like, I. that's a horrible choice. It's a tough choice, but I understand that. I feel like a lot of it, at least these days, the way it's, it's uh, publicized, a lot of it is, uh, you know, chicks who uh, did some shit, had a wild night. Now they're like, fuck, I don't want to get pregnant. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> like, And it's like, I mean, you could have just... You know, because you know, birth control or condom or I don't pull out. Well, you know, condom takes all the way to the feet. Uh, so it's just uh, not. Uh, it's not an option, really. Man, pay what? <laughs> pay how much are condoms these days? Uh, pay four Couldn't bucks. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Long past them days, Marquis. I swear. 
No, they're not that expensive. Though. If like, you had sex like, with Mark in the last like year, let me tell you, <laughs> I'm pregnant. I kept it. <laughs> no, this is a nasty uh, nigga. It's been, <laughs> he's been raw dawn bitches since <laughs> since the dawn. <laughs> Going raw since '91. <laughs> Came out one raw, dude. <laughs> no, condoms, they're like, they're like, at the most, I think I spent like on a good one, like for her pleasure shit. Right. Uh, three pack is like, I want to say like six bucks, no more than 10. I don't remember spending any more than 10. But that's like condoms. for, like you said, like the super good, like. Yeah, yeah, like the ones where I like have the special, like, oh, ultra thin or hot. Fire, fire and ice, that one. Uh, but the fucking uh, like ribbed, the ultra ripped for her pleasure. The Durex uh, oh, yeah. twenty six pack. You can. I go Trojan because uh, I care about my <laughs> brand loyalty. Uh, <laughs> um, but haven't got to go pregnant yet. Shit, it works. Trojan. 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 Hey, we looking for sponsors. Trojan, <laughs> let's go, baby. That would be crazy. Um, yeah, like in those moments or whatever. Like I think about shit like that. I'm like, you easily could have fucking just because, of course, okay. So let me put a little thought into this, more more thought into this. Uh, I used to work for Walgreens, right? Uh, and at Walgreens, when people would come up to the pharmacy and they would, uh, you know, ask for medicine, medication, stuff like that, a lot of girls who were very uh, young, but not young, like 15, 16, they were like, you know, 20, 21, 22. They would come up there and they would be like your typical party girls, right? And they would be all fucking bubble, bubbly. And they already look like they either fucking just left the club or they just, they about to go to the club like right now. And then yeah. they would literally be like, um, I need to get, uh, buy some plan B. And I'd be like, nice. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Hey girl. What's up? <laughs> like, that's the funny part. In my head, I was just like, mm. I like, you know, use a nasty, nasty bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, but nasty bitches are my favorite. <laughs> use a nasty, dirty bitch. Uh, but you know, it was crazy. Cause, I knew it was like, holy shit, you're about to kill something. But, <laughs> but I was like, I respected it because I was like, well, hey, you're being responsible and you're like, I don't need nobody money. I'm not dealing with this. Let me take this little shit. Wait, is plan B killing something or is plan B just like stopping the production of like it happening? Uh, what's Dwayne's the a difference? pharmacist, by the way, so he would know. What's the difference? Huh? What's the difference? Well, it's just, it's nothing. It's just like you're keeping a cell from entering, you're, you're keeping a, a sperm from entering an egg, I think. Well, you just said earlier with, when you were breaking down, like. Don't you use my words against me. <laughs> fucking dare you. <laughs> no, no, we're not going back to this. All jokes here. No, I'm just saying, you just said earlier that, um, you know, it's not anything when, you know, when you have a, like, if you like the first, before the first trimester, you said? Or yeah. What? Like, it's not anything. It's just a bunch of cells and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, it's the same thing with Plan B, but I'm saying people also don't like Plan B. It's like it's on, it's on the same wavelength as abortion. Wow! So there's a group of people that are like, yeah, it's the same as abortion. Yeah, and they don't fuck with that. God, like, man, learn your fucking science, people. Um, so that's why I'm like, what's the difference to people? Um, but to me, I always thought it was, always was like, it's responsible. I'm like, whatever, man. Like, I'm I'd rather you do that shit than fucking go have a kid for no reason.